So 90% of test driven development is writing tests first and then writing implementation and a little back and forth to see that work. But that's not how it works in the beginning because you don't have anything. There's just nothing exists. So you have to set up the initial plumbing to get things moving. And as your code base grows, you're going to repeat this step over and over. In the case of object oriented programming, that would be creating the classes, exposing the methods, things like that, and making sure that all the wiring set up if you're using the dependency injection framework, et cetera. What we're doing today is we're going to build a LIFO queue, which is a last in, first out queue. And if you're not familiar with what a LIFO queue is, it is a something similar to like your browser history, right? So like if you look at like today or yesterday, what I did from a browser history perspective, it's a list. And when I go to a website, it doesn't add it to the bottom of the list, it doesn't add it like you would think, it actually adds it to the top. And so if I hit the back button, it's gonna take this out and then shrink the list down and go to this page. And as the browser history grows, let's say I run out of hard drive space or RAM, it's gonna pop out the things on the bottom. So that's kind of a life OQ. It's that you, whatever you add to this list actually goes to the first part and then whatever's at the end gets popped out. So that's a, that's a life OQ. So the first thing we need to do is actually examine our requirements and think, right? And think, what are we gonna actually create? And something like this looks like we could probably encapsulate it into a single class, a single data type with some abstractions on top of it. We have to create the actual class first to get started. So I'm gonna do a folder of source and then we'll create our LifeOQ class in there. And for the you JavaScript super awesome people, you're probably wondering why am I using JS instead of MJS or modules for ES6? That's strictly because the Mocha version that I'm currently using at the time of this video does not support watch mode with MJS modules. Okay, so I have a LifeOQ and it doesn't really export anything yet other than itself. <laughs> so we'll just say it exports itself. And then we can import that. We'll just say const array equals new life OQ. And that's it. So that's the basics of setting up. We're set up, we're ready to go. And we can start implementing our requirements.